We've had a few mystery guests. We mm -hmm. spoke with Alex Cora right. last hour, and our next one is on the line right now. I have I have clues. Okay, let's have you, you guess them. Number one, he has a tattoo on his face. Number two, what? Whoa. D Rose says he's top Mike five. Mike Tyson is here. D Rose says he's top five most handsome guys he's ever seen in his life. What? Tyler Glass now. <laughs> Brad Tyler Pitt? Glasnow. Hey, what's up, Tyler? He doesn't have a tattoo. You don't have a tattoo. Tyler, How are you guys? <laughs> bend your lip down and show. Yeah, I know you've told the story a thousand times. Yeah. Show the dudes what I'm talking about and oh, explain wow. yourself. There you go. Is that a regrettable tattoo? Not really my face, my lip. Same, same, same thing, though, thing. I guess. Thing. Do you regret <laughs> that, or are you still happy that you did No, that? I love it. No, really? I love, like, all the... I, every tattoo I have is, like, the dumbest thing in the world, but it, like, reminds me of <laughs> when I got it. Wait, what's the story on that one? Uh, it was. I got it like my first. I had my first roommate in pro ball was Roderick Jones, and we were just like the complete two. Like he was from Louisiana, I was from California. We became like really good friends. And Lil Boosie is a rapper who has a yeah. song called No Juice, and it was like kind of a funny slash song I liked. Not a lot of reasoning behind it, but it was kind of <laughs> just like a funny. Most of my tattoos are just dumb and funny, but I like them. Hey, good. hey, Tyler, uh, obviously a big couple days for you. Pitched well Magic. recently in your last yeah, start. And last uh, your, your movie, Oppenheimer, did very well <laughs> at, at the box office. Uh, but seriously, I mean, now that that movie has come out, you, you're getting the, the Killian Murphy comps a whole lot more, right? Yeah. Definitely. I was saying before, too, it's like a lot more than anything related to baseball. It's like everything is always about this right now. So it's kind of I, I like it. He seems cool. Uh, good actor. You know, I could be compared to like worse humans. So I think it. I like it. Uh, I think you're better looking version. I, I, I would agree with that. He's oh, a handsome you. Gene Wilder. <laughs> Uh, again, you keep going to the Gene Wilder conference. Yeah, no one sees that. No one sees it. Hey, you threw the heck out of it last night. You feel good? The Rays, I know they've stumbled a little bit in July, but take me inside kind of where you guys are at. Yeah, I think we're, we're definitely kind of, we've always been a really close team. I think just like through the course of a baseball season, you're going to have some ups and downs, and we were so hot for... Uh, like the whole beginning of season that I think just the baseball gods are even in and out right now. But yeah. I know like our team is so talented, like we're going to come back. We're just obviously just in like a little bit of a rut, but it's already starting to get a, a little better and we're just too talented to, to not win more games. So it'll all balance back out. Tyler, I want to ask you, I sit and watch so many games. Um, I, I mean this, not just because you're on. When I watch you throw. You say it all the time. Dominant. Yeah, I mean, last night, you, dominant stuff. You get great hitters to to look foolish at times on the uh, on the mound. Take me inside, like when you're warming up in the bullpen. I mean, you always have the good stuff. Is, are, do you ever not feel like you're going to go out there and completely shove? Because that's what I see every time you're right. I feel like I'm not going to shove pretty not frequently but like a normal like I guess I used to kind of put a lot more weight on like my warm-ups and stuff but now I don't necessarily like if I do bad in the bullpen before like it it has no bearing on how yeah. I perform in the game mm. but I guess like there it's for me I think it's like inning to inning in a sense like sometimes like a lot of times first inning is always really good you're fresh you got that adrenaline and then I think it's like the consistent battle as a starting pitcher of every inning to try and keep it consistent in certain games I have to be a little bit more conscious and cerebral of what I'm doing and certain games, I can just kind of let it fly. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, this the league is so hard and the hitters are so good that like, I definitely, I don't go out there thinking like, oh, this is this is like a, a breeze or anything yeah. like that. Certain games I can feel better, but like, it's always such a challenge. Tyler, you mentioned the how close that this team is. And I've heard that about this franchise really for the last couple of years. Uh, you've been around for a while in that clubhouse. What's the secret sauce there? Uh, it's definitely the culture of our clubhouse is something that's probably unique to all other 30 teams. I don't really know. I've never, I've only played for two, mm -hmm. but it's like, I think the biggest thing with the Rays is like a lot of times we'll have success with players who are very, like you, they have a lot of talent and they might not have done well with another organization, not necessarily like teams have given up on them, but like they have such a huge R and D team and like can kind of strip down the data so much that they're like, like they find Siri. someone who's yeah, like exactly. Like they'll find guys like that, uh, and they'll have them come in, and they'll just be like, be whoever you want to be, do honestly whatever you want to do, 
and just be a good teammate. Like that's really the only rule Cash has and Eric is just like be on time and be a good teammate. Mm. And I think in like this kind of old school baseball mentality, it's like the complete opposite of that. It's it's very much like the most relaxed atmosphere. Uh, it's just the most fun place to play. And like, it just feels like summer camp. It's crazy. Like there's already, there's so much pressure involved with baseball and being in the big leagues. Yeah. They do a really good job of trying to like, just, it's fine. Just have fun. Don't worry about it. And that's a big part of like what Cash and Eric have kind of brought here. We've got this graphic of, uh, of you and where you, you rank um, among your peers. Uh, this is since 2019. Uh, hopefully you can see these numbers here. I mean, Tyler, this this is, I mean, heady, heady stuff. Congra congratulations on what you've been able to do. When you look at these numbers, what does it mean to you? I, th I it's, It makes me really proud. I think just coming from, I think when I was with the Pirates and like I was struggling so much for two years, there was always that thought of like, am I going to be that like huge prospect who never figures it out in the big leagues and just can't like <laughs> figure it out mentally? And I think I, I'm like very grateful to the Rays to, be traded over here and they showed so much confidence in me early on like I was in the bullpen kind of just like withering away with the Pirates and they brought me here and they just like poured a ton of confidence into me and said like you're a really phenomenal pitcher just kind of simplify your approach go out and pitch uh, and I think ever since I got traded here everything has been I just felt good and it's it's been really awesome wow man what are you having for breakfast this morning yeah mm -hmm. I haven't eaten anything yet. I'm doing a little intermittent fasting thing, really? kind of a little bit. I had, I had. Some I was going to say, Tyler, you look like you've let yourself go. Yeah, a take bit. me, take I'm me real quick. <laughs> take me through the intermittent fast and what are the benefits? I just, for me, it's like, it's like a, for stress, I guess. Or like, I don't, it sounds a bit ridiculous, stress. but like, I guess it's more like mental clarity. Yeah. I guess, like, I always just like feel like my brain works a bit better. I don't get like clouded. For me, though, that challenge is always like. I don't want to lose too much weight, and I think the off like my mentality going into this season, especially, was to gain like 10 more pounds of like fat. I want to be like 10 yeah. to 12 I percent even of speak to you. body oh, I fat. Know. This is yeah. the beautiful <laughs> stuff right here. I love this. Oh my gosh, Tyler. So, yeah, the intermittent fasting can kind of make that a challenge. But as long as I like, once I open that window of eating, I just like, I eat like a like a high 15 year old kid. I just eat everything <laughs> in sight for eight hours. <laughs> like, oh, I don't uh, even want to yeah, so comment. Yeah, on it's so back good. Into that. <laughs> hey, Tyler, you're you're uh, one of our favorites, we man. Come to my to apartment gain... every once in a while. Yeah. We wanted to gain ten pounds of fat too, and we Tyler, succeeded this season. Thank, thanks for spending a little time with us, man. You're one of our favorites. Yeah. Best of luck to you yeah. and the Rays the rest oh of the way. Gosh. Appreciate it. Congrats yeah. on 750, by the way. Thank That's you. awesome. Thank you, Tyler. That's really cool. we, we appreciate it, man.